Part 2, The Social Brain Another important aspect of human behavior is our social nature. Humans are inherently social creatures, and much of our behavior is driven by our interactions with others. One key area of research in this field is the study of the social brain. The social brain refers to the neural networks and processes involved in social cognition, or our ability to understand and interact with other people. One mirror neurons One key component of the social brain is mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are neurons in the brain that fire both when an individual performs an action and when they observe someone else performing that same action. These neurons play a crucial role in empathy, as they allow us to understand and relate to other people's experiences. Two Theory of Mind Another important aspect of the social brain is the theory of mind. Theory of mind refers to our ability to understand and attribute mental states, such as beliefs and desires, to ourselves and others. This ability is essential for successful social interactions, as it allows us to predict and interpret the behavior of others. Three Social Networks Social networks also play a crucial role in the social brain. Our social connections shape our behavior and affect our mental and physical health. Social support can be a significant buffer against stress and can even promote faster recovery from illness. Four Brain Regions The social brain also involves specific regions of the brain, such as the prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, and the insula. The prefrontal cortex is involved in decision-making and social behavior, while the amygdala plays a role in emotional processing and social learning. The insula is involved in the perception of bodily sensations and is important for empathy and self-awareness. Summary, the social brain. In summary, the social brain plays a crucial role in human behavior. Mirror neurons, theory of mind, social networks, and specific brain regions all contribute to our ability to understand and interact with other people. Understanding the social brain can help us better navigate our social world and promote positive social interactions. Attachment Another important aspect of the social brain is the study of attachment. Attachment refers to the emotional bond that forms between infants and their caregivers, and it is thought to play a crucial role in shaping our social behavior throughout our lives. The attachment theory was first introduced by John Bowlby, and it has been further developed by researchers like Mary Ainsworth. Attachment theory Attachment theory posits that humans have an innate need to form attachments to others, and that the quality of these attachments can impact an individual's development in several ways.
The theory also suggests that there are four main attachment styles, secure attachment, anxious ambivalent attachment, avoidant attachment, and disorganized attachment. One, secure attachment. Infants with secure attachment are comfortable with their caregiver and use them as a secure base to explore their environment. They experience distress when their caregiver leaves, but are comforted by their return. Two, anxious ambivalent attachment. Infants with anxious ambivalent attachment are clingy and dependent on their caregiver. They experience intense distress when their caregiver leaves and are not easily comforted upon their return. 3. Avoidant attachment. Infants with avoidant attachment are indifferent to their caregiver's presence and lack attachment behaviors. They do not seek comfort from their caregiver and show little distress when they leave. 4. Disorganized attachment. Infants with disorganized attachment display contradictory behaviors towards their caregiver. They may approach their caregiver but then freeze or show fearful behaviors. 5. Attachment, long-term consequences. Research has shown that attachment styles established in infancy can have long-term consequences on an individual's social and emotional development. Children with secure attachment tend to have better outcomes, such as higher self-esteem, greater emotional regulation, and better social skills. Children with insecure attachment, particularly anxious ambivalent attachment, tend to have more difficulty forming relationships and may struggle with mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. Applications of Attachment Theory Attachment theory has many applications in clinical psychology, particularly in the treatment of individuals with attachment-related disorders. Attachment-based interventions can help individuals develop secure attachments and improve their social and emotional functioning. Conclusion, Attachment Theory In conclusion, attachment theory is a crucial framework for understanding the importance of early relationships and the impact they can have on an individual's development throughout their life. The theory has significant applications in clinical psychology, particularly in the treatment of attachment-related disorders. By understanding attachment styles and their long-term consequences, we can better support healthy social and emotional development in children and adults.